eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. Activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. That wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Oh! <sighs> 
You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked! What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children. Off to a great start, dirty one. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Thirty-one infected and only seven runners left. We can't afford to lose it. And he'll die because of this guy? Quiet! Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti-scene. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. We're just getting picked off, one by one. And you are? Crane, at... 31. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head? Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. Looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in.
Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your Anderson was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the Anderson meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That lost guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but you might as well be trapped in a mine cave in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some Anderson ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. 
gauze. You've got to find some gauze. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the hell. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? 
You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. How are zombies like computers? What kind of stupid question is this? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you.
time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Well, what are you waiting for? Get a move on. Right. They've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. 
whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Going outside, yeah? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers.
Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Brecken sent most of his best people to protect this... Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. I'll have to hold you, for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, keep a distance from Rises, man. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. Keep a lookout for the colored smoke. It means... Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. <laughs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble.
Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Just give me a second. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority, though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it.
infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. They're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted.
with the car spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's no spot. I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? I can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. What a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the infected quite the sunburn.
Okay, lights are all set. Like the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Ugh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation here. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus, the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. Zap. Zeke was 
Mike, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid's shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. I saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay, give me a sec. First of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you.
Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Crane. Listen. Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to Baitos, and then Ryza's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. 